So, skin cancer is a common term, but actually it implies two very different diseases. It's sort of an umbrella term, and under this umbrella, there are two major groups, non-melanoma skin cancers, which include basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas, and melanoma, a far less common, but unfortunately much more aggressive form that accounts for most of skin cancer-related deaths. So melanoma makes up only about 1% to 4% of all skin cancer cases, while non-melanoma skin cancers account for the remaining 96 to 99%. So bows begin in the skin. Bows are linked to sun exposure. But that's where the similarities end. So let's start with non-melanoma cancers. These are the ones that I see most often. And the first type is a basal cell carcinoma, which is the most common skin cancer in the United States and many other countries. So it arises from the basal cells deep in the epidermis, which is a skin layer. And it's usually the result of years of sun exposure. And it may show up as a shiny bump, or a sore that won't heal, or a patch of skin that looks slightly scarred. The good news, basal cell rarely spreads, but that doesn't mean that it's harmless or innocent. Left untreated, it can grow deeper and deeper, destroying tissue and even bone. And I actually have seen patients who lost parts of their nose and eyelid because they waited so long. Next one is squamous cell carcinoma. This one comes from keratinocytes, which are cells that make up most of our skin, and it's a little more aggressive than the basal cell and more likely to spread, especially if it's located on a high-risk area such as lips, ears, or scalp. And it may look like a rough patch or a horde like bump or a crusted sore. Sometimes it begins as an actinic keratosis, which is a precancerous lesion caused by, you guessed it, sun damage. And I actually have full videos about all of these diseases, and I'll link at least one of them above. So both of these non-melanoma cancers are very treatable, and most often with surgical removal. And of course, just like any cancer, they need to be caught early. They need to be completely treated. So, but now 